Hello everyone, welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within. Alright, it's time to blow up some aliens, maybe capture some aliens, hopefully train some newbies, some rookies, and gather enough money to be able to buy... what was it I wanted to buy? Um, shaped armor or advanced servo motors? I think those are the next things I was going for. Yeah, probably. We'll see. Anyway, there's nothing to do now but wait. Come on, aliens. Come at me. Ooh, Illyrium Generator. Illyrium Generator complete. Oh, we got 55 space bucks back for it. Cool. It actually almost gives me enough to do the foundry upgrades. I could sell stuff to do the foundry upgrades, but... No. There's no need to rush. Let's just be patient. So that gives me a ton of power. Ton of power. I, I don't need to build any more power generators for a long time. Another lab would be a good idea. But it's expensive and I don't really need it. Man, it only takes three power. Maybe it was a satellite nexus that I was going to build next, actually. Maybe I should build that, instead of upgrading my mechs. I have three satellites coming in, but... I should probably get started on more satellites, because I have to wait for the satellites to finish building, and then I have to wait for... Or, I mean the... I have to wait for the facility to finish building, which is going to take probably 20 days or something, and then I have to wait for the satellites themselves to finish. Which will probably be, what, 40 days? I, actually, I should really do that. I really should do that. Hmm. Actually didn't mean to excavate that. Can I can I cancel that? Okay, good. <laughs> I didn't I didn't mean to. I thought there's a confirmation box. I just clicked on it and it just did it. Okay, well. Am I gonna wanna build more workshops? Cause if I do I want to leave this slot here. What's it cost to build an axis lift? 50. Hmm. 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 Unfortunately, I can't get an adjacency bonus for the satellite uplink. It's just not going to happen. And the power... Obviously, the next power generator that I may need to build will have to go here. Or, or should go here, because it'll get massive bonuses. It'll get two bonuses, which is great. So, I don't know. I'll just build it here. It's fine. Four satellites would be incredibly valuable. It's expensive, but... It's worth it. Yep, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, it's gonna be 21 days for that, and then 20 days to actually build the satellite. So it's gonna be 41 days... About. Until I can even get the new satellites. It's a long-term thing. All right, let's get our three satellites here. Commander, our Excellent. Been standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. Okay, let's quell some panic and get some more money. Not right now, of course, but for the next uh, council report. Uh, uh, launch satellite. Okay. It's a shame there's no way to get people back into the XCOM project. Like, can't you just? buy them presents or something. Like here, Mexico, I got you some alien spacecraft to donate. Please come back. Love, Africa. Would they come back? No, I don't think they would. Okay, well, guess what? Three places are panicking and I have three satellites to give out. How much money are they gonna give me though? 100, 160, ugh. That is shitty. Man, freaking Russia would have definitely persistent. Whatever it is they're doing, they're not giving up without a fight. Russia was or is giving me 150, so to get 60 is terrible. Actually, how does this work? Didn't I have one in Russia? Yeah, it says current one satellite. Plus 150 per month. Do you continue to get the money even though they've withdrawn? Or do you just lose that satellite and you can never get it back? 
I have no idea. Anyway. Oh yeah, there's a bonus here, right? We'll have satellite coverage over two-thirds of countries in North America. Reward plus two scientists and plus two engineers per month. Excellent. Satellite launched. Excellent. Alright. Germany. Two fourths of countries in Europe. Plus three scientists per month. Yes, Central! I understand! Fuck off, Central! I don't care about what you have to say. Jesus, Central! No one cares. Thank you. <sighs> no interceptors stationed in Asia. Oh, yes. That is a good point. Okay. Yeah, let's... <laughs> My monthly amount is going to be uh, 837 magic space monies. Sweet. Okay, let's hope I have enough to get one in Asia. Okay, 40. I have just enough. It's going to be rather ill-equipped, though. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, well. Actually, hold on. Do I have the consumable? The aim consumable? I do. I do have one. Okay, good. Let's keep waiting. I'm really hoping for an easy mission. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. What the fuck is this? I don't like this. It says UFO class unidentified. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. What does that mean? Have I ever had an unidentified UFO before? <laughs> Have I ever had an unidentified UFO before? <laughs> that is literally a true statement, but it doesn't sound right, does it? Have I ever had an unidentified, unidentified flying object? Why, yes, I think I have, but you know what I mean. Have I ever had an unidentified UFO class? Unidentified UFO, Jesus Christ. Hmm. I... Uh, I want to take... I want to take newbies, but this unidentified UFO... ...is creeping me out. I can't risk it. Yeah, I'm not going to take newbies on this. Nope. Where's, uh... Graves. Graves, Graves, Graves. Graves? Graves? There you are. You're at the top. And you have terrible items. Let's fix that. I do want to start... Oh, whoops. That's the wrong one, actually. Yeah, you should have the med kits, because you are a medic, after all. If he, if he didn't have his med kits, like, half of his abilities would be completely useless. Because most of them have to do with med kits. Revive. Field medic. I think there's something else, too. Oh, maybe not. Maybe there's only two. Oh, no, there's savior as well. Yeah, three of his abilities have to do with med kits. Or, sorry, medic kits, because there's an I in it. For some reason. You have the right stuff, don't you? Yeah. Let me check all my units. Good, good, good. You are not good. Or are you? Oh, no, never mind. It's this laser sniper rifle that doesn't look like a laser sniper rifle. That keeps throwing me off. Oh, yeah, so, I'm, of course, now I'm going to give you the nanofiber vest. Now that it is back from Gary Warner, who was previously using it. Railgun, railgun. Okay, now again, I do want to capture stuff. So... I want to give someone an arc thrower. The reason I want to capture stuff is because I'm running out of stuff to research. And I think if you... What do you get when you interrogate aliens? I don't even remember. Does it give you more research options, or is it autopsies that gives you that more? I think it's more autopsies that give you that stuff. But still, I want to capture stuff regardless. Hold on, Soul, are you the one that has the super movement sprint? 
Where is it? No, no, it's a, it's a support. Yeah, it's a support thing that has sprint. No, there it is. Okay. One of my supports has sprint. And I only have one other support, right? Blunda, is it you who has sprint? You have sprint. You're also relatively low level. Eh, you know what? You know what, Graves is maxed out, and Blunda's a pretty good medic. He's a he's a pretty good medic. Let's let's see what he's missing, though. He doesn't have dense smoke, does he? Or deep pockets. Or the restores four more health. Hmm. Nah, I'm gonna take him anyway. It'll be fine. Okay. And he's gonna be with the Arc Thrower because he has the Sprint ability. So we can move super far. Although I could give it to Arrow. I could give it to Arrow. Nah, this is fine. This this is perfectly fine. Is everyone good? Laser, 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 blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we're good. Okay. We got this. Oh yeah, this unidentified, unidentified flying object. Dropship has arrived. I think we're all gonna die. Rip in peace. Get Whoa. Ready to deploy. Whoa. Our AO is within the continental Whoa. United States. It looks like the UFO landed out in the boonies. We need to secure the surrounding area and eliminate any hostiles before they threaten the local population. Them's the boonies. It looks like a farm field. I don't like this. Everything about this screams something's wrong. An unidentified class of UFO. In a place I've never been before. I don't like this. It feels wrong. HQ, this is Big Sky. We are in position and awaiting further orders. Roger that, Big Sky. Strike one, you are green to deploy. Approach with extreme caution. Current enemy status at the site is unknown. Looks like they did a number on the cattle around here. Poor, poor animals. <sighs> Alright, step number one, scout. Need info. Oh yes, these pod things. Is this the first mission? Wait, where's the aircraft? Is it? Oh, it's here to the left. Oh shit! I was moving up here, thinking it was over here. I'm hmm. Now I'm kind of exposed to the side where the enemies are going to come from. But it's okay. There's a metal canister here on the side. I remember doing a mission kind of like this with this gigantic UFO and all these pods, and I don't remember it being very pleasant. I don't remember exactly what was in there, but I thought there was a what was it, a mectoid? Or a sectopod? I think it was a sectopod. It was fucking scary as shit. Oh. But yeah, I have bad memories attached to places like this. I don't like it. I really don't like it. Alright. Let's get you into some... Very minor high ground and full cover. Are these full cover? I think those things are full cover, aren't they? Oh, they're only half cover, damn. Just move up a bit for now, a little bit cautiously. Yes, Commander. I want Arrow to lead the charge, so that hopefully we can see the enemies before they see us. Yeah, I've got to go into half cover. There's really no choice here. Unless we're going to hang around the drop site, which would be dumb. 
Befehl zum Vorrücken bestätigt. I really want to gang up around this rock, but... Nah, I'll put you there. You'll be fine. Something tells me I'm not going to be doing any arc throwing this mission. Oh, fuck. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? You can hear the sounds of the aliens during their turn sometimes, and that sounded like a sectopod, I think. It was a big, clunky, clinky kaboom with each step. I think that's a fucking sectopod. Mm. Well, if I want her to be in mimetic skin. Looks like my only choice is to move her here. Alright, so it looks like they're not outside of the UFO, they're probably in... inside of it. I think that's a safe bet. Aliens inside of a UFO? No way! How far can I throw this thing? Not far enough to be useful. You're a little bit too far away, Spectre. In fact, I might move you up. Maybe. I don't really... I really want to see the enemies before they see me. So I'm going to be a bit cautious here. I'm just going to move over to the melt canister. God, you have so many hit points. You have 20. 20 hit points. Okay, three turns. We're good. We got this. The meld canister, I mean. I don't mean the mission. We might all die. But we have the meld canister, at least. So that's something. Don't discover aliens. Don't discover aliens. Don't discover aliens. Please don't discover aliens. Don't discover... Don't discover... Don't discover okay. Oh. I do want to move you up. You have a height advantage there, but I really want to use your battle scanner, so I'm going to move you up here. You'll be fine. Don't worry. You're in full cover. And just overwatch. And overwatch. Got my mechs as... mobile turrets. Alright, so the other one's straight inside, which is pretty much what you'd expect. Right. I can scout here very well and grab the melt canister next turn. Nothing. Okay. It's time to use a battle scanner. Let's get a look inside. Nothing? Oh. Looks like they might be right in there, but they're not at the entrance. So, we can move up a bit. I didn't move up too much, did I? Am I gonna... Oh, I did. I did get a little bit more vision. But thankfully, I didn't discover anything. Half cover, half cover. Just terrible half cover. Alright, Blunda needs to be near the front. If he's gonna have any chance of using his stun. And ironically, he's also one of the weakest members. He doesn't have much health. Unfortunately, because he doesn't have... He doesn't even have the... Nanofiber vest, because he has a medkit and the arc thrower. Not too good. I'm on it, Commander. But, I'll move you up anyway. You gotta learn somehow. And you're gonna learn by being thrown right into the shit. I guess I'll move you up here. Yeah, a lot of shitty cover. A lot of shitty cover. 
I don't like it. That, <laughs> that, that is a sectopod. I don't think that's a mech toy. That sounds like a freaking sectopod. Alright, let's, oh, I got a dash to get to there. Shit. You know what? I'm going to toss you up there, Blunda. You've got long legs. You're meant for this. Got it. Oh, yeah. I forgot the freaking side entrances. Can we, can we just run into the cornfields? I just want to run away into the cornfields. Can we just leave this UFO here? Right. Well, I'm not going to enter from the sides. Ooh. Yeah, there's a lot of nice cover inside. Sort of. I mean, this is all half cover, but at least around the walls, there's a lot of full cover. Alright. Another scouting mission, maybe? Guess I'll move you here. See if there's anyone around the side entrance? Anyone? Nope. They're pretty deep in. I think I should save this battle scanner, maybe. Actually, I have no reason to move you. Yeah, I mean, you can shoot anything at the front entrance from here, from here, so... Let's just leave you. Alright. You're gonna be my scout. What the hell? Why did <laughs> just switch to a grid-based view? Okay. Yes, clump together, clump together, no. That, what the hell? Are you even in cover? Oh, you are. You're in full cover. Okay. Well, I could destroy the cover. See, the thing is, there's a sectopod. Probably. So I don't exactly want to blow all of my specials early. I'd like to save them for more worthy opponents. Okay, so I can move up with him and lob a grenade. I'll just move up with him right now. Moving. What are your chances of hitting? That's pretty good. But there's no reason to do that. Because I have grenades! Could I even hit the one back there? No. Nope. So I don't really want to use my rocket if I don't have to. And there isn't even a berserker here, so I don't think I have to. I would like to arc thrower one. But you don't have disabling... Do you have disabling... No. No, you took battle scanner instead of disabling shot. Right. Well, let's just do this to begin with. Because there's no doubt I want to do this. Gablamo! Intimidate. Oh, does that mean you're going to move? I encourage you to move up to my person who can do kinetic strike. Please do it. Are you, are you going to... Oh. That's weird. I thought Intimidate was the thing that Berserkers did and it made them move up closer to the enemies. But that one... didn't. Hmm. Right, now the hard one to get is the one in full cover. And I believe Spectre probably has a pretty good shot. Hmm. 50%. That's not good. That's not good at all. I could blow up its cover, actually. Which might be the best thing to do. Actually, could it? Would I blow up the wall? I think that would blow up... I'm not actually actually sure if that would blow up the cover. It's going to blow up something, but I don't know if that's the cover. Are, are you serious? You can hit that? M Muton? The one that I can blatantly see right there? The walkway's in the way? You don't have a line of sight to it? Okay. If you say so. So what's the best use of, your, use of your abilities? Blowing up the dude's cover or shooting them in the face? 66% chance is not great, so I'm going to do collateral damage. Let's see if this blows up his cover. It did not. Nope. 
I blew up a bit of the ship, but not his cover. Fuck. What are you doing? He's getting angry. Hmm. Looks like Intimidate does some sort of a... a thing around them. Maybe it debuffs people within the zone or something? Or maybe it buffs them if someone is within the zone? I don't know. Anyway. I'm really liking the idea of using a rocket here. But, oh, I wouldn't even hit all three. You Wait, you can't shoot any of them? Oh, you're too far away. Ugh. I could smoke my people. No. That'd be dumb. I can only get one at a time, that's stupid. Right, well you're in full cover, so just take the shot. Come on, Blenda, come on, Blenda. Earn your stripes. Good job. Dead and gone. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the one standing out in the open. Hold on, what can my other people do? Who can you shoot? No one. Let's see if you can shoot someone here. Nope. Alright, Overwatch. So, you're the only one who can do anything. So, just kill that one. That guarantees to take damage off the field. Alright. There's only one left. It can't do much. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Oh, you're gonna run away? Okay. a lot of alien activity. I don't like it. Let's see if we can see the meld canister. It's somewhere straight in. Hopefully not too deep. Zydela. Could this be the ship responsible for the attacks taking place during the alien abductions? Yeah, it does seem to be some sort of a mothership. I don't like it. I really, really don't like it. Oh, there's the other meld canister. It's not that deep in. Let's hang back a little bit. I'm gonna reload you. Shit, I blew up all the cover. It wasn't even good cover, either. Yeah, I'm gonna have to sprint to get into even decent cover. Unless I move him here. I'm just gonna move him here for now. I'll sprint him next turn. So we can do a bit of overwatch. Alright, time to move you in. Maybe. I don't wanna put you out in the open. here, I guess? Yeah, I don't like being outside here. This sucks. I hate half cover. Hate it. Heading out. pack you in here to get into position for next turn. Alright. See if that Muton comes back. You're gonna show your face? Oh, you're gonna show your face. Well, guess what? I have some Overwatch. Are you seriously gonna stand out in the open or are you gonna shoot? Oh, you're gonna shoot. Okay. Ugh. Ouch. Actually, you're the one that has... What is it? Who is it that I give the thing to that made them the 33% damage thing? Was it you? I believe it was you. Right, my melee dude. Absorp yeah, absorption field. Any hit that does more than 33% of damage. Okay. In fact, I could just go up and punch it in the face, which is pretty much undoubtedly the best thing to do. 
Yeah, okay, it's punch time. Just hope I don't discover new aliens by going here. If so, I'm fucked. Good, we're not fucked. Goodbye. That is so satisfying. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should have tried to arc throw it. Could I have gotten in range? I don't think that would have been in range. And I have no disabling shot. Nah. It just seems like there's almost never a good time to arc throw her. It really seems like it. I'm never comfortable doing it. Whoa, 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 what was that? Oh! Shit! But they don't know we're here? They don't seem to have triggered. Right. This is bad. I don't want to funnel all of my troops up one place. With, like, no cover. That's terrible. I really don't want them to discover me. Can I launch a grenade at their faces? No, plus I'd blow up the melt canister, which would be really stupid. Hmm. Let's, uh, let's move here. Yamigum indeed. Double time. Alright, I gotta get my people into place to actually do something. Right, you're way too freaking far away. And once again, there's basically nowhere I can put you. <sighs> Alright, just go up here. Yeah, this is a very unideal place for a sniper to be. This enclosed, very enclosed space with lots of things to occlude her shot. Very bad. I'm gonna put you here, so maybe you can lob a grenade up there next turn. Maybe I should heal you. Can I heal mechs? With a normal med kit? I don't think I can. I can't do it this turn anyway, because he, he's out of movements. He's got no moves. Let's go up here. Alright. Oh, no, they do apparently know we're here. Are you going to shoot? Holy shit, nice. I didn't mean, are you going to shoot? I meant, um, is the, the mechtoid going to shoot? But apparently it's not. That's good. That's actually a very stupid thing for it to do. Just run down shooting alley and just get shot in the face. Okay. One little sectoid and a full health mechtoid. All these toids. I don't like toids. I'm a toidist. They can't see your starting position, so I could move her here, and grab the meld. I mean, she can't even sprint into a really good position anyway. Oh, wait a minute. Actually, no, never mind, she could. <laughs> to be honest, I, there's no way I'm putting her there, because the chance of encountering new enemies back here is extremely high. Of course, she has mimetic skin. But... The thing is, the point of putting her here would be to shoot them, so if she shoots, it's going to get reveal. Uh, reveal her, and get rid of her mimetic skin, so... No. I don't think so. Can I blow them both up without getting the metal canister? It doesn't look like I can. Shit. That's not good. Okay, um... How do I do this? 
I could even run and gun her to here and get some shots on him from there. He does unfortunately have a height advantage, but she's close enough and he's in no cover. So it'd probably be okay. Can you punch him in the face? No, you can't. You could shoot him in the face, though. Wait a minute, wait a minute. No, you can punch him in the face. I can use the jet boot module. Yeah. I could totally punch him in the face. I think. Yeah, I should be able to. Alright, so I can do 12 points of damage. So, how many hit points do I need to hurt you? I need to hurt you 8 hit points. And I can shoot twice with you. There we go. You're dead. So, let's go for the sectoid. Can I capture it? No. <laughs> you can't use an arc thrower on robotic enemies. As you can see, there's no ring. Oh, I could almost make it to the freaking sectoid. Almost. Maybe I should just try to kill it instead of punching it. I could. Nah, I want to punch it. Uh, okay, apparently he can't jet up here. He, he can't just jump, jump up. Strange. Maybe there's like a ceiling that I can't see. Is there? No. Huh. That didn't exactly work out ideally. Well, crap. Right. I guess I'm just going to shoot you in the face then. One hit point. Blunder for the win. For the lose. I'll get him next time. Oh, I totally forgot about you. Of course, you have an... <laughs> Spectre has an 80% chance to hit a sectoid in half cover, hundreds of feet away, through a wall. Of course you do. Well, I guess I'll just shoot you in the face. No, I don't want to shoot you. I want to shoot you. Let's, um... Let's go here. Maybe I can get a shot on... The, no? You're telling me you can see that little dude's head popping up, but you can't see that massive mechtoid. <sighs> okay, take the shot. Good job. Let's just pop you around here. What the hell's going on? Why are you moving so slow? Okay, that was a s delayed reaction shot. Oh, I didn't know it was on Overwatch, to be honest. I totally forgot. <laughs> it was like, slow motion running. Oh, something's gonna happen. You're dead, maybe. Yeah, you're dead. Right, I'm gonna have to heal you. Thankfully, the healer is right next to you. Do I even care about this stupid little sectoid? I don't. Goodbye. Even if I didn't kill it, I wouldn't have cared. I wouldn't have used run and gun to get it, because I just want this. I want this meld, I really need meld. Alright, I don't want to move her up next turn. I mean, I don't want to move her up this turn. Because... She can be discovered by some things. Some things that have special capabilities, like Seekers, for example, I believe probably will discover her. So if I move her in there, 
She might be discovered, and there's probably nasty stuff in there. It's pretty much guaranteed. I mean, look at that. It's like a chamber of death. So I'm just going to put her on Overwatch. I'm still thinking there's a Sectopod in there. I really do. I might have been hearing the Mectoid. But I don't think I was. I should see what's over here, actually. Let's do that. Can I heal her from here? I'm halfway in her ring. I'm assuming you can. Yeah. It only has four. Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't have the ability that makes it turn to eight. Easy now, soldier. Oh, it healed. Oh, she has a superior healing metal, doesn't she? Right? Yep, yeah, there it is. Superior healing metal. Excellent. It came in handy. Alright, I kind of want to heal her again. Seems kind of like a waste, though. Heal again for two hit points? It only leaves me with one. No, I'm not going to do it. I do want to see if you can be healed, though. Let's find out if you can be healed. I'm pretty sure you can't. Let's also reload you. Let's reload everyone. Yeah, there, there's no reason to rush whatsoever. I have all the meld. I'm good. I'm good to go. Let's put you in a position to run through there if you need to. Let's reload you too. I need to get you into a... M oh, yeah. I could put you on the roof, but then you wouldn't be able to shoot anything. It's weird. It actually looks like a battlefield up here. Like, this is set up as, like, a fighting arena, but... When the hell would you ever find aliens on the the roof of the UFO? Let's put you in a position to support this room when they open it. Ooh. Oh! Little buggers. Well, come for any of my people if you'd like. You're all going to die. I didn't want to open that. Oh. I can't believe... It's so weird the way it works. If you are... If you select a troop that is next to a door... If you select a soldier that's next to a door, and you click anywhere, like I clicked like down here, if you just left click, it opens the door as if you're clicking on it. You don't need to click on the door, it just, it just, any click anywhere will register as opening the door. Just bizarre. Right, well, I don't want to do anything with these, these bastards around here. So can I heal you? Actually, it looks like you can. I'm on the move. Yeah. You can heal him. Easy now, soldier. Well. I didn't think that would work. So I'm just gonna I don't really I don't even really need to reload, but Nah, I'll overwatch. Yeah, it's just pick off these damn... These damn Seekers. They're gonna pop up. I'm sure they're gonna pop up this turn, right? They're too close not to pop up. Yep, there we go. Goodbye. Where's the other one? There's one more. That's not the end of it. Yep, there's the other one. Oh! Oh, she's totally gonna hit. With her aim. Or not. The battle fedora failed! No. Holy shit! Wait a minute. I didn't even I didn't even know they had normal weapons. 
I thought the only thing they did was strangle you. Well, shit. I wish I took my better medic. Because now I'm going to have to use my last medkit on her. Huh. Hold on. Can I... No, I can't capture you, right? Because you're a robot? Yeah. You can't arc throw non... Organic things. Who needs the experience? Kind of you. Yeah. Blunda could use some more experience. Let's give you a shot. Literally. Okay, well. Didn't do much damage, but I'll take it. Man, I can't believe they actually have laser guns. I've just never seen them use it before. That surprised the hell out of me. Alright. Now you do need to reload. That's affirmative. Right, well, let's move up. Because we're going to encroach on the center of this UFO very soon. Locked and loaded. Just preemptively reload, even though I don't really need to. It's good to do it when you're safe. Next turn, I will do some healing and some moving, and then probably more healing, and then... Actually, no, not more healing, because I have no more medkits. Do you have the superior healing metal? Please tell me you do. You don't. I'm taking a lot of damage. Good right, so if anyone dies and is in critical condition, I can't use a medkit to revive them. Because you, you need a medkit to do the revive, right? Actually, maybe you don't. Do you not need one? Yeah, it allows medkits to revive critically wounded so well, Actually, wait a minute. Instead of just stabilizing them. No, you do still need a medkit. Yeah. So, <sighs> it's put me in a precarious position. I don't like it. I really don't like it. Because I've only just barely freaking started. And already I've gone through three of my medkits, which is all of them. Hmm. Back here. Well, if anything wants to uh, come to us, it is going to die. Whoa. Whoa, there's something on the side of the ship. I don't want to be flanked. I really don't want to be flanked. I want to take that out before I go inside. Let's go check it out. As always, I'm going to use arrows. Wonderful mimetic skin ability. Let's move out here. Got all the time in the world. All the melt is collected. We can just take our time. I'm gonna put you here for next turn. And reload. You don't have much health and you are hurt. So. Move you here. I wanna save my last battle scanner to throw maybe into the center room or something. Of this gigantic beast. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. I don't wanna throw it just for a couple most likely puny enemies that are just around the corner. Yeah, 
Yeah, getting my people into position for next turn. So they can come around the corner and take some shots if they need to. Ooh, it sounds like mutons. Yeah, it sounded like mutons. Alright, one more turn to get a good scout with her. Move everyone up a bit more. I don't like being packed in so much. This is just like grenade bait, but so far no one's actually thrown a grenade. So, we should be okay, I guess? I'm gonna move you here. She can shoot around the corner a bit, and she's also far enough away that they're probably not gonna try to shoot her. Okay. Next turn, we will have. Oh, yeah, they're right there. We might just discover them right now, actually. Yep, here we go. Here we go. I'm glad I moved my people into where I moved them. Okay, we got <laughs> three reaction shots. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. I might get a good arc throw here, and that's the close combat specialist that just procced, I think. Right. I would so love to arc thrower this fucking mutant. So there's no doubt I can deal with all of these people. The question is, how can I deal with it in a way that gets me one of them with the Arc Thrower? Because I really want to get one of them with the Arc Thrower. I really want to save my rocket for a potential Sectopod. On the other hand, this would kill both of those. Which would mean I could entirely focus on this thing. Alright, well, let's just save her. She's my um, ace in the Pocket? Is that the right term? I don't even know what the hell that means. Ace in the pocket? What the f- what does that mean? But, yes. I'm just gonna expend all of my resources with the other people on this dude, trying to arc throw him, and... Provided we don't have any resources left to deal with these two, I will use a rocket. And, of course, there's always Spectre. Right. So, I need to get that thing's health down. The most efficient thing to do would probably be just to punch it, because I would guarantee it's death. But I want to arc thrower it. I really do. Up to 10 damage. That could kill it. That's going to do up to 10 damage. Maybe I should snipe it. 33% chance to crit, and if it crits, it's dead. For once, I actually wish it didn't have a chance to crit. Let's do it. Please don't kill it, don't kill it, don't kill it, don't kill it. Oh! Oh no, 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 don't move, don't move towards- Oh fuck, don't move too much, don't move too much, please, 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 please. I think I can still get to it. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, it has two hit, two hit points, which is good. I believe the chance of successful stun is increased the closer you are. Doesn't matter how close you are. Well, I'm just gonna move right next to it. Hello! How you doing? 80% chance, that's pretty good. Hope this works. Yes! <laughs> yeah, 1.21 gigawatts, baby. <laughs> oh, Blunda, I love you. Gigawatts. Right, I don't need to use a rocket. No way. I could punch you in the face. I could punch you in the face. Let's punch you in the face. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Alright, now how do I deal with you? I could blow up your cover. Can I blow up rocks? You can apparently blow up rocks. Might be the best thing. Because my chance of hitting you is not great. Might as well use a grenade. Well... No, I might want those... Yeah, I only have two left. I'm just gonna do this. Okay. Intimidate. Do you really think you intimidate me? If anything, you should be the one that's intimidated. So how many people do I have left to deal with you? Two. Right. Try number one. Fail. Oh wait, no, no, hold on. You have bullet swarm. Success! You boo 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 boo. Alright, that's probably all the enemies that are around the corner, so let's start to regroup back here. I sure hope that's all the enemies around the corner. Around the side. Alright, there's no more indicators, so back to moving people into position and reloading them. What am I going to get for interrogating a berserker? That is quite a catch. That is quite a catch. That's a hard thing to arc throw. It's got a lot of hit points. Stepping off. Alright, I want to get into a good position to throw this battle scanner. Just right into the heart before I even put Arrow inside and use her memetic skin. Unfortunately, there's no cover down the middle. As much as I'd like to put her here, sort of for the high ground, I don't think it's going to work. Hmm. I have really bad memories of this UFO. Alright, so I've got two here. Two here. She's standing out in the open. She'll be fine. Maybe. Hopefully. Probably. Yeah, she'll be fine. Preemptively reload. Alright, not even hearing an indication of where they're at. So I think we're good. Let's move her up. Right here. So next turn, or whenever turn I want to use her, she is in position to do some moves. Same with you. I should probably put you up here too. Yeah. Solid copy, Commander. You're in a battle-ready position. I, I want to be able to look at what's in here and then just bust my troops through the door into cover. Hopefully. That's that's the plan. We'll see if it works. Hmm. Thing is, though, how am I going to throw it? Because I can't throw it through the doors. I 
kind of want to move her up here, but I really don't. I really don't. Let me see if I can toss it up and over. I've got to hear him soon, right? Yeah, they're, they're right inside of the main chamber, of course. Which is exactly what you would expect. Okay, can I throw it up and over? Yes, I can. Excellent. This is perfect. Okay. Intel out. Or in, rather. Are you serious? N nothing. Nothing? Okay, well... They're probably, like, up above. Shit, well, at least I can see where I can take cover. That's the good part. Move a little bit closer. I'm on it, Commander. Once again, just moving into position. Unfortunately, this is all half cover. Which is pretty shitty. In fact, that looks like it's full cover, which means this is an extra shitty position to be in. I really don't want to go around the side, though. I don't. It's gonna leave it here. There we go, next turn you can bust through. Might as well reload you. Alright, alright. Yep. Yeah, they gotta be right above there. I really want my sniper in position, but where? There's like nowhere to put her in cover. I mean, she'll just get flanked from any shots that happen down here. It's, it's not good. I think I just need to accept the fact that I can't preemptively put her in cover. So she's not gonna be able to help. Until after a turn has already passed. Yeah, we just... Alright, we just gotta go in. Now where do I put you? It's gotta be full cover, obviously. Hmm. Like, here she's obviously gonna be flanked, but... No one's going to take a shot at her. Alright, let's just go here. I guess let's just get my people into some Overwatch positions. Ooh, that's the core. Yep. Just move our people in a little bit. Where are they? They they really don't seem to be in this room unless they're right there. Alright, well, we're going to have tons of Overwatch this turn. Probably four on Overwatch. And what about you? I guess I'll just plop you right there. Yeah, I kind of want her in the middle of the group. I don't want her on a flank where she could potentially be assaulted by a new group of aliens that I don't know exist. So Overwatch, 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 and Overwatch. Your move. Or moves. I dare you. I was really thinking this battle scanner would be amazing. Like, I'll know where every single one of them are, and I'll shoot a rocket at their face when they can't even see me, but nope. I guess I'll go here. I... 
guess they're just in the, like, this place. Which looks like some sort of a main room. Maybe that's the... The Captaineering Room? Whatever the name for that is. Alright. Let's get in position for an... In... What's the right word? Intrusion into the room? That's not the right word. A breach? I don't know. I'd like my rocket available. Let's plop you here. Could shoot my rocket into the room a little bit. Not to the right side, but to the left side at least. Yeah, let's move you up. Maybe I can make use of your art thrower again, plus if everyone's all grouped up, I can use my smoke grenade. Unfortunately, it's not dense smoke because he doesn't have that ability yet, but still, it's pretty good. I would like my sniper to get in on this, but... The chances of her being able to make a shot from back here are practically non-existent, so I'm just going to move her here. Which is apparently in full cover. Amazingly. And nothing would be able to flank her unless it shot her from here... Which means anything inside of the room will not be able to flank her. So it's actually a good position to be in, even though it doesn't look good. Right. We are freaking ready to bust through this alien blue door thing. This this door field. Anything in there is going to fucking die. Shall we do it? Would you like to do the honors, Blunda? Please don't be a sectopod. Oh, it's two of them. That's it. Close combat. It's probably gonna die because of. Yep. We need to capture one of these strange aliens. We already know that killing them won't provide anything of use to us. I know, but I'm not progressing the main quest. Valen, don't worry. I think I thought this mission was harder than it actually is. Maybe there is no sectopod. But I'm not going to let down my guard just yet. And I'm not going to capture that thing. Nope. Not yet. Let's uh, give Blunda a chance. I could move him up and he get a flanking shot, but the thing is there might be enemies down there. In fact, there probably are, so I'm not going to move in. Ooh. Killing these particular aliens gets us nowhere. That's it? Our troops should focus on capturing one of them, not killing them. Wow, that nailed it, Commander. Mission accomplished. That was way easier than I thought. Apparently that big stompy noise was not a sectobot, it was just a mectoid. Hm. That wasn't too bad. Alright, well we're gonna have some choice words with this berserker. Oh, soul is wounded. That's alright. Oh my, I believe that you're my third colonel. Colonel Arrow. Alright, what do you have? You're my first assault to reach this rank. Confers immunity to critical hits. Damn. Killer instinct. Activating run and gun now also grants plus 50% critical damage for the rest of the turn. Oh. Ooh. Immunity to critical hits. Okay, so... Immunity to critical hits basically stops you from... Being... It, it kind of evens out the chance of you dying. It makes it unlikely to you to die just to a, a random lucky critical hit. But how often does Arrow even get shot at? Not very often. So I think I'll get more use out of Killer Instinct. Yeah. I mean, she, she's just going right for damage. Everything she has is just to do more damage. Plus 10% critical chance per enemy in sight. Rapid fire, shoot twice. Close combat specialist. Yeah. Yep, she's not a defensive assault. She's an offensive assault. Get in, do as much damage as possible. And you don't need to defend yourself if the enemy is dead. 
That's that's my thinking with her class build is kill all the enemies so you don't need to defend yourself. Another live capture? Please give my thanks to the main commander. I know it can't be an easy task trying to bring them in alive. You can trust that the research team will make it worth the trouble. I have no doubt. Although to be honest, it wasn't all that hard. It was surrounded by like four troops. I have difficulty understanding how such an advanced species could show so little empathy for the lives of other sentient beings. It goes against everything we have ever imagined. The technology is there, but with it comes a callousness we would never have expected. What could have brought them to this? I don't know. That's a good question. What was I going to say? Oh yeah, so the interrogation's very, very fast. Was it two days? Yeah, two days. But I really want Titan Armor and it's going to be done in only five days, so I'm just going to keep waiting. Right, is there anything to do? I don't think so. I think I just need to keep waiting. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Do I have any stuff I can sell? Damaged. Nope. Alright, back to waiting. Satellite coverage, satellite coverage, satellite coverage, satellite coverage Excellent, three new satellites? And Titan Armor is done. Titan Armor available for manufacture. Mech 3 Paladin available for manufacture. Ooh. I didn't think this Titan Armor stuff would, re would lead to new mech stuff, but awesome. Amongst our heaviest designs. Enhancing our soldiers' protection from weapons firewalls, providing immunity to fire and toxins. Ooh, I want that so bad. Okay, Mech 3 Paladin. Can stun organic enemies and damage robotic ones with this area of effect electric shock device. Ooh, or proximity mine launcher. Right, deploy to a medium range and will await nearby enemy movements before triggering their explosive charge. Interesting. All right, let's interrogate this dude. I'm calling a berserker a dude. Sup, dude? How you doing? Still berserking? Still raging? Yep, he's raging. He's mad. Now, how much do they cost? And exactly what do they do? The Titan Armor, I mean. Oh my god, that's expensive. Oh boy. <laughs> what? Ten, ten hit points. Ten health bonus. Not to mention they're immune to environmental fire damage. And poison. And airway interruption. Does that include strangulation? Okay, so that gives me ten, and what I have on now gives me... Four. It's going to give all of my troops six more hit points. Holy shit, I need to get those right away. I only need four, which means in total it's going to cost about 500. 60, 70, 80, 90. It's going to cost a little bit more than 500. To outfit four of my troops. So it's pretty damn expensive. I can't do it yet, obviously. But soon. Soon. I keep thinking I'm missing something. Am I missing something? I don't think I am. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, 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 I am. I am missing something. That is that my new ship does not have anything but avalanche missiles, which is shit. So let's go ahead and I'm going to have to sell something to get a laser cannon. I need 22 bucks, 22 space monies, 22 magic space monies. So, let's sell some corpses. Actually, no, let's, lo let's not sell corpses. What do I not need? Okay, well, I don't need 15 Exalt Laser Assault Rifles. See, the here's an interesting thing about these, though. I've noticed, at least with the rocket launcher, it says... May have some value to Council Nations planning anti-Exalt operations of their own. It's only the rocket launcher that actually says that. Um... Oh, no, no. The heavy lasers say it as well. 
Yeah, they all say it, okay. So apparently people might be interested in some weapons. What's going on down there? Tell those guys we can't have them bringing down the walls in the name of prototype testing. <laughs> they can blow up all the walls they want if it's going to give me new weapons tech. So I don't know how many they might want. You know, how many I should keep on hand. I guess I'll keep... I don't know. I, I really don't have any idea how many they'd want. Seven? I'll keep seven on hand? Sure, why not? They can't want that many. So, I can buy one of these, and let's go outfit the ship. Okay, so everything, everything will have Phoenix Cannons or Laser Cannons. And, back to waiting. Ah, good old abductions. Gotta love it. Oh, and Soul has returned to active duty just in time. Commander, good. we're tracking several reported abductions via the Hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked in. Lions, France? Lions sound dangerous. They might eat me. Alright, so we gotta take the one that has the most panic. France is not it. Oh. I'm gonna take this one. So I need to take one that has the most panic, which would be these two, Japan or Canada. One gives me scientists, which I don't really need. And the other gives me a new recruit, a heavy captain. And a heavy is exactly what I want. That's exactly what I want out of a new troop. I want a new heavy so I can give them the shredder rocket. So we're going to go with Japan. Yep. Alright. Who do I take? Um... I'm going to take Spectre. I do want to keep leveling her up. What level is she compared to Isley? Oh, okay, so they're actually on uh, the same level now. Yeah. Alright, I'll keep going with Spectre, because I've used Isley for a long time. Who else? My mechs, obviously. Arrow? Um, yeah, yeah, I want the mimetic skin. I don't really want to use Auchner until I can afford to give him mimetic skin. And this is a very difficult mission, but I don't want to take just... I don't want to take just my highest members, but I also don't want to take complete newbies, and I don't want two assaults, and I want to have one of each class. So that means I'm pretty much left with taking Blunda. Instead of... Instead of Graves. Because he still fills the class role and he's still pretty good. But he also does need to get better. I think, yeah, Ochner's even the same level, or actually was the same level as Arrow. Now Arrow is one above him. So it could use a little bit of leveling up. But I really want the Medic skin. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Alright. Everyone good. Do you have stuff? You have stuff? I'm going to keep you with the Arc Thrower. I really want to capture more stuff. You've got stuff. You've got stuff. Laser, laser, laser. I mean, it's the same troops we had before, so everything should be good. Yep. Yep, we're good. Except one thing. There we go. Now it's consistent. Scope, nanofiber, scope, nanofiber, scope, nanofiber. I, I just changed the order. It was bothering me. Okay, let's go. Let's kick some aliens' ass in... J where are we going? Japan or Canada? I don't remember which one. Japan? Are we going to Japan? That doesn't look like Canada. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's not Canada. Canada's not an island. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Canada isn't an island. You'll be heading into Japan for the next mission. 
Sacred Fall. Okay. We've just received another report of an abduction in progress in a densely populated uh -huh. urban center. Mm -hmm. If we allow Aliens, oh my god, gotta blow them up. I actually remember fighting in this battlefield before. When I was playing Enemy Unknown. I recognize it. Oh yes, I recognize it. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. <laughs> Reading you five by five. What does that even mean? As opposed to four by four? Or two by two? Or two by four? I don't know. Alright, this is a very good place for Spectre. A very good map. Because it's super open. But... Hell, I might even be able to just put her up somewhere and just leave her there for like the whole map. Because I'm pretty sure the entire thing is open. I don't really want to put her in no cover though. I don't like that. Yeah, well, let's scout first. Full cover. Full cover. Full cover. Half cover. Full cover alchemist. Oh my god. Six turns. What have we got? Oh shit. It's a cyber disc. Right. See, this is exactly where you want to use a rocket. Especially on someone who has heat ammo, because it does eight it does eight damage and heat ammo will That's called heat, right? Yeah, heat ammo. Um it'll increase damage by fifty percent, I believe. Yep. Which means my eight damage rocket will actually do twelve. How many hit points does it have? Which one is it hit it's it its hit point meter? I see a thing pointing to something here with a lot of hit points, but it doesn't look like it's pointing to the cyber disc itself. I don't know, whatever. Right, you gotta be a lot closer, though. She can even shoot. She can shoot from right here. Oh, she can't hit the cyber disc, though. Right. Ooh, that's full cover. I like that. Yeah, let's move you here. It's not really a reason to throw a battle scanner. Nah. Alright, I don't want to move up too much. I don't want them to know I'm here this turn. Not before I'm in cover. Let's just get people into cover and get some overwatch going. And hopefully get into range to do some AoE attacks. Between the rocket and a grenade launched, I should be able to do quite a bit. Alright, I need to get in a position to shoot a rocket next turn. Where's good? Well, she needs to be a lot closer. Ah, she can't quite reach there. Ooh, that's full cover. That's good. Yeah, let's go right there. That's good. And you are not going to be arc throwing anything because they are robots. Yeah, I'll put you here. If I need to, I could smoke the entire- Oh, fuck! On the last goddamn person I was moving. Fuck me. And now Soul is being flanked to hell. <sighs> Shit. I could hunker her down. Is there really a point in hunkering her down? It's not like anybody's gonna shoot at her. There's much better targets. Like, the one that's not in cover, or the two that aren't in cover? 
Hold on, what can everyone else do? Can you shoot? Can you shoot? No. Can you launch a grenade? Uh, yes. Yes, you can. Alright, let's blow you bastards up. I'm certainly not going to get into range to activate the cyberdisc, so yeah, let's do that. Although the cyberdisc is probably going to hear the explosions and come next turn. Right, so I can't blow up the bus's cover. Nope. That's not a very good percent chance to hit, but I'm not getting closer. I do not want to trigger the cyber disc. So, I think it's my best shot. I just gotta take pot shots from here. Hold on, can anyone else shoot? You can't. You have beautiful shots. Beautiful shot. But you can't shoot. So, no. Alright, just take the shot. Come on. Oh yes, it worked. Whew. Okay. That's a load off my mind. Now, do I use your battle scanner or hunker down? It's kind of a waste to use a battle scanner, but hunkering down is practically pointless. Yeah, I'm going to toss it. No one's going to shoot at her. There's way better targets to shoot at, so there's no point in hunkering down. Oh, look. There we go. It worked. Another melt canister. Great. Now they're both in full cover. I hope that cyber just doesn't move. Overwatch, okay. Overwatch, gotta remember that. Overwatch. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, of course, flanking shot. And it missed! Wow. I'm amazed. Okay, the cyber disc didn't move. That's wonderful. Wonderful. That is a massive weight off my mind. I really want to save the rocket for the cyber disc. Shit, I'm not even ranged it. No, I, I can get it without blowing up the canister. A little bit. Although, if it veers off to the side, it could either blow up the canister or just fail to hit all three of the enemies, but it's a 90% chance to hit, so it's probably fine. Right, if Arrow moves, she's going to be very much seen, because everything in the world can see her from her starting position. Now, if I move Soul here, the Cyber Discs might respond. I think I'm just going to plonk another grenade in. Yeah, it's going to kill one of them. Yeah, you pissed. Oh, blunder. Ooh, but I would like to capture you. But... Now's not the time. That's a terrible percent chance to hit. That's really bad, but... I don't want to move Soul, because she wouldn't be able to shoot a grenade properly. I mean, a, a rocket, next turn, if I move her. Um, um, I'm going to take the shot. Holy crap! Blunda. Lieutenant Blunda has earned a promotion. Good job. I kind of want to move her up here, but there's no cover. I don't. I really don't like that. No, Overwatch. Same with you, Overwatch. I don't think I do want to Overwatch you. 
Because you might shoot and reveal yourself, which is really not what I want. So, why don't you hunker down? Let's, uh... Let's reload. Just in case. I hope they don't move. I, I really hope they don't move. I don't think they do, though. Yeah, okay, it looks like they don't move. Excellent. Right. Um, Operation Fuck Up Their Day is about to commence. Yeah, if you don't kill the drones right away, they pose a big problem. Because they basically, they're like support for the Cyberdisc. They will actually repair it. So you really want to kill them right off the bat. They're kind of like the sectoids to the mectoids. Or they'll, they'll well, that's a voice crack. <laughs> or they'll buff it. And support it and give it a shield and all that. They're kind of like that. They kind of run as a unit. Alright, here we go. Operation New Shit Tons of Damage, commencing. Boo! What the fuck, soul? Jesus! Ugh. Wait a minute. Since when do you have a shredder rocket? I, I give you a shredder rocket? Uh, why do I see a shredder rocket down here? I don't, I don't think I gave you a shredder rocket. I'm so confused. Why is that? Mayhem, heat, bullet swarm, danger zone, will survive. I don't think I gave you the shredder rocket. Right? Uh, huh. I'm confused. Right. Well. I'm gonna go ahead and move you up. Please don't discover them. Good. Whew. So I can move her here where she can probably get a shot on them because she can't seem to get a shot back there. Yeah, there we go. Okay. She can see all three. Perfect. So that means I can move these guys up here. Once again. Just, uh, just hunker down there. Just hunker down, Arrow. It's okay. I know, you, I know you're itching to get in the fight. But just calm down. I'll reload you. Because I don't think they're going to move. They don't seem to move. Okay. I heard a big stompy. It's probably a mectoid. Yeah, look. What the... That was a bug. I don't have a shredder rocket. As you can see here, it's gone. <sighs> Can't believe that missed. Oh, boy. Well, let me see if I can get an AoE over there. Okay, yeah. We, we still need to blow him up. Although, I don't know if this is actually going to kill him. How much health do they have? They have... Oh, they have three each. Okay, this is fine. Okay, this won't miss. It's guaranteed to hit exactly where you tell it to. So, come on. Don't let me down. There we go. Open fire. You think the Overwatch is going to save you? Okay, I have to admit that the Cyberdix... The cyber discs are honestly absolutely fucking terrifying looking. That thing is so scary. The the monster design, if you could even call them a monster, I guess. The the creature design of the cyber discs is amazing. It's so cool and terrifying looking. It's really astounding. Alright, first things first, shoot you in the head. Oh. My. God. 
Spectre, you're amazing. You just basically one-shot at a cyber disc. Of course, those already hurt a little bit, but still. Wow. Okay, then. I don't think anything can stop us now. Now we can finally move Arrow up. Maybe. I need full cover. Is that full cover? That is full cover. See, if she had uh, if she had Titan armor, she could stand in this fire. But as you can see, you can't because it would burn you. Yep, gotta go here. That is a mech toid, right? Yep. Alright, I think we can clear this map without even worrying about the meld. Because they're most likely the only enemy left. Because this looks... Yeah, this is pretty small. They've got to be the only ones left. Now, she's in position to do a very nice run and gun next turn. I'd like to pop one more grenade off on them, though. Kill that little sectoid. And destroy some cover. How close can I move without being seen? Here? Okay. Nope! Oh fuck, there's two! Holy shit, I didn't see that there was two! Oh no! No! No. It's okay though, he's got the tanking abilities. Right, well... Fuck. <sighs> Might be able to pump a ton of damage in the big guy. Unfortunately, sh unfortunately, Soul doesn't have a shot from here. I really want to kill that sectoid before it does some mind melding because it's probably going to do that next turn. All right, how many shots do I have on the big guy? One sixty-nine. One sixty-six. That's it. Two shots. That's unlikely to kill it. Very unlikely. And I could move you up to take a shot, but then you'd be in half cover, which blows. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Because, assuming the other shots don't kill you, I could suppress you. Alright, I'm not gonna go for the sectoid. That's just too limited of a, limited of a chance. I'm gonna go for the big guy. Well, at least you blew up the statue and revealed the other one! Ah, <sighs> Wonderful. Hold on, maybe I should use a smoke grenade. Maybe I should. I probably should. Because I'm pretty much guaranteed to not be able to kill it. Alright, yeah, you know what? Our people are out of, like, out of position. I've used up some of their turns before the enemies were discovered. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm not going to try to futilely shoot this thing to death, which is not going to happen. Instead, I'm going to protect us three. Or can I do you three? Nope. Okay, it's got to be us three. There we go. What the fuck you... What the... <laughs> Blenda, I don't know what you just did, but it worked, so... Do it your own way. If it works, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. And now I'm going to suppress you. Right, so the chance of us getting hit are very low. That thing's suppressed, and we have a nice smoke grenade. Although, it is a lower tier smoke grenade that only provides... Oh, fuck. Um, it only provides 20 defense. Instead of 40. Oh, god. Okay. Whew. You're not gonna mind melt too, are you? 
No, good. It would have been funny if the mechtoid missed, but the sectoid hit. I'm glad I tossed that smoke. Alright. This is just asking for an AoE. But I want to get this little shit first. So let's go do that, shall we? Yeah, let's go get this dude. I think that's the best use of my resources, right? Trying to pound through that shield is... It's pretty much impossible, yeah. Alright, I think one of one or both of them is on Overwatch, but it's okay, because I have lightning reflexes. The first one will miss, at least. Heh, <laughs> good luck. Good job, Arrow. You're like the wind. No one even sees you. Except when they do see you, and then they miss. So just like the wind, when you try to shoot the wind, you miss. Or you hit it, but it just doesn't take damage because it's every... I don't know. I'm just gonna kill you now. Alright. Now, can I punch one of you? Good, okay. I can. On the other hand, I could also shoot twice. Which might... Actually, probably do more damage. Alright, let's see what kind of AoEs we can get here. Um, oh, did I shoot all my grenades? Oh, fuck. I thought I had a grenade left. No. I used them up on the, the mutons. That's right. Okay, well, I can get two shots with him and two shots with him or a punch with him. So this is pretty good. We should be able to deal with him this turn. And then the sectoid. <laughs> that sectoid is going to get destroyed next turn. What do I do? Well, I can't kill either of them with a punch. Let's focus on the one in the back. Because the one in the front I can punch. But the one in the back, I'm not quite sure I can. Although, I think if this one was killed, I could probably walk here. But uh, let's just... yeah. Yeah, it's the same percent chance to hit them both, so I'll just hit the one in the back. Come on, come on. Aim well, aim well. Nice. One more. One more. Death. Death. Kill. Kill. Miss. Alright, that's probably not gonna kill you. Oh, who can you shoot? Oh, you can shoot at the first one. Alright, let's take that shot. See what we got to work with here. Right, so now the front one is low enough that I can punch it to death. So I just gotta worry about killing the back one with how many people. So I gotta kill the back one with two people. I can probably do that. Come on, Blenda. Get some experience. Ooh, nice. I'm proud of you. You've done well. Alright. Alright. Excellent. Alright, we got this. I wonder if it does AoE damage or anything around it. No? Nope. Oh, you can even shoot again. Should I give you the experience? Are you max level? What level are you? Where does it say? I don't know. Eh. I'm just gonna punch him for the fun of it. Goodbye. What? Why are you... Okay, you can turn around. That's fine. Make it a dance. How'd you even unlock? Shield Buster. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's, let's see what this little sectoid does. I wonder if it has some sort of grand scheme. It's gonna pull some moves, man. It's probably gonna flank Arrow, is my guess, right? Yeah, of course. Good luck, little guy. I wish you the best. Oh, you even critted! Oh, it's so cute! It critted. Kaboom! The little guy critted. Aww. 
It's adorable. Alright. Well, I want to give Blunda the possibility of getting even more experience. Because I think he's the lowest one here. So, let's do this. Let's give him a nice hide advantage. And maybe a flank? Is it a flanking hide advantage shot? No. Not a flank. Not quite. I need to be over one square, I think. Oh, it worked. Another one down. Good work, Commander. Excellent. <laughs> you know what? When you're on these end screens here, like this one, and you see the soldier doing that, I think it's supposed to be the soldiers talking into their comms. Talking with Central or whatever. But you know what it actually looks like? It actually looks like they're coughing. Just... <coughs> <coughs> it's okay, it's a known psychological thing. After you come back from battle, you kind of just... You have to cough. It happens. I'm continually impressed by the efforts of our troops, Commander. Uncovering this meld substance is crucial to our scientific pursuits. Hey, yeah, these combat drugs just don't seem good. I never took them before when I originally played Enemy Unknown, and I'm not going to take them now. Plus 20 will and plus 10% critical chance for all units in the cloud. Compared to the possibility of having a smoke that will, after getting dense smoke, will increase your defense by 40? It's just so much better. Alright, that went exceptionally well. It was scary, but it went pretty well. Oh yeah! I think someone said that you get five, you recover five meld from every mechtoid killed. And they're right, because look at this. You get only 10 meld per canister. And I killed two mechtoids, and now I have 30. So even though the game doesn't tell you that for some reason, you do actually collect meld from the mechtoids. And we have a new heavy. Remember, we will be watching. Did anyone else panic? Yep, Canada's panicking. Oh, and France. As soon as you put out some satellites, everyone else starts panicking and you need more. Hmm. Man. Worldwide panic is actually pretty bad. I'm doing the best I can, though. I'm taking the highest panic missions. Hmm. Alright, let's check out our new heavy. Oh, I have so much meld, but no money. Yeah, check out our new heavy. Where are you? There you are. <laughs> Your his or her? Is it his or her? Um, her nickname is Hulk. A heavy with the nickname of Hulk. That couldn't be more perfect. Alright. Okay, so let's do something different here. Without a doubt, Bullet Swarm is better than Hollow Targeting. It's just better. It allows you to fire twice. Shredder Rocket. I don't really care for suppression all that much. It comes in handy sometimes, like it did It did in that mission. But, in general, not really. I want Shredder Rocket. Which, by the way, another cool thing about Shredder Rocket, aside from it being very good for taking down high... Um, high health targets, it also is a separate rocket from your normal one, which means you can essentially fire two rockets in the same... the same level. Of course, it, it doesn't do as much damage. It, it does less damage in the initial blast, but allows more damage against the unit, so it's not the same as a rocket, but still. It is another very large AoE. So let's take that. That's what we're going to do differently. Once again, I'm going to take heat, as always. I think Danger Zone's probably better than Grenadier. Grenadier. Yeah. I, I still don't really get what the increasing the area of effect on suppression means, because it suppression is still something that you use against a single opponent rather than an area of effect attack. So I don't get that, but I think it's worth it for the rocket, uh, the rocket range increase alone. Totally worth it. Okay, time to customize you. So, let me get my list of names here. Alright, the next viewer name on the randomized list of viewer names is... Let's see, the last one I did was Gravity, correct? So the next one is... Finn. Finn, you are the next one. Man, I wanted to get a lot of rookies this time. In this uh, in this episode, I wanted to do an easy mission and just take like all of my rookies out on it, but it just never worked out that way. 
It's fine though. We have Finn. Yumi Finn. Yumi Hulk Finn. Oh yes. Um, let's... Let's see what we can do with you. Let's give you a helmet of some sort. I could go bald. Yeah, let's go for that. Hair color really only affects the color of her eyebrows. Because that's the only thing you can see. Nah, let's go for that. I don't even know what color that is. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> it reminds me of Mario for some reason. For some reason, my my taste in how I customize my troops has been getting less ridiculous, I think. Maybe. Has it? I feel like it has. Let's go for that. Kind of looks like a desert sort of look. Like a desert soldier. Yeah, sort of stuff you might wear in the desert kind of blends in, sort of, with sand and stuff. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so how many people do I have in each in each category? Because I want at least one backup of each. I have two snipers. I have Isley and Spectre. I have more assaults than I need. I have four. Two of which are very high level. So I'm good on that. Heavies. Now I have two heavies, which is what I was really worried about. Not having two heavies, but now I do, so that's good. And I have two supports. So in other words, I have backups of everybody except my mech troops. Yeah, I have no mech backups. I kind of feel like that's okay, though. For some reason. Yeah. Because my mechs usually aren't wounded, and that's that's kind of the thing I'm most worried about. I'm, wor I'm worried about two things. One is that my soldiers will be wounded for a long time, and a mission will come up, and if I don't have a backup for them, that means... That's an entire class of utility that I don't have anymore. So, for example, if I only have one sniper and they're out wounded, then I have no sniper. So now I have no super... Super high damage, long range attacks. Um, and the other thing I'm worried about is that if one of them dies, it's going to take a long time until I can train someone to be back to their, around their level. So I'd be missing some uh, serious amount of effectiveness there. But when it comes to the mech troops, they almost never take enough damage to even be wounded. They're just such beasts. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's fine. Alright, I think that's almost all there is to do, but I do want to, uh... I want to see what happens with this interrogation of the Berserker that's going to be done in just a minute. There we go. Oh, and Raven-6 is now armed with a laser cannon. Excellent. So what did that do? Armor technology. Research credit earned. Wait, what does that mean? Alright, so apparently we looked at the Berserker's armor. Research... What does that do? I don't know. Maybe I should do the light plasma rifle. I think I need new fighter aircraft, though. Mine are pretty freaking weak. That's going to catch up with me if I don't do it. Yeah, I'm going to do the fighter aircraft. Okay. So what are these research credits? I don't even know what they do. Uh, having devised a battery of physical tests for the Muton Berserker. Captured by our soldiers, we were able to observe how it moves and... Uh-huh. So what does it do? By incorporating this new data into our own designs, we should see a... A... Reduction in the research time of all armor... Related projects. Of course, I get this right after I just did... Titan armor. <sighs> oh well. It's cool though. I'm sure I'll research some more armor at some point. Maybe. Although, to be honest, I think the Titan armor is probably what almost everyone is going to be using. There's some other stuff. There's like the Archangel armor, I think, which allows you to, if I'm remembering right, that's the one that allows you to use a jetpack. And fly up into the air, but I never use that, and I still don't want to use it. It just sounds, it just sounds like a mess. Like, congratulations, you can fly in the air, which will give you a height advantage. Also, you won't be in any cover. So, yeah, great. 
everyone's going to shoot at the gigantic human being that is just floating in the air. Behind nothing. Protected by nothing. How about no? I don't want to use that. And if I want vertical mobility, just get a freaking gene mod. I think it's all there is to do other than just keep waiting, really. Yeah. But once again, I'm encroaching on the two-hour mark on this episode. So, I'm going to end this episode here. I hope everyone has enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon where in the next episode, I hope I can take a serious amount of newbies. I want a squad just full of, like, mostly newbies. It just, it keeps not happening. I'm, I'm taking some newbies. One or two. Or at least lower ranked, even if they're not newbies. Like, Spectre was lower ranked, but not a newbie. So I'm doing it a little bit, but I need to do it more. I might be still being too cautious, I'm not sure. Maybe. I don't know. It'll be fine. Alright, so yeah, I will be back soon.